How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and today's video we're going to be talking about this application right here which is brand new from Google and it's called Files Go. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to talk to you about the reason they released this and really what the benefit it is for your device. So the idea behind Files Go is for devices with lower storage values. Obviously you can see mine is 64 gigs and, and kind of has a lot of storage. But for those devices that have a lot less storage, it's a way to easily and simply clean up um, your device so that you have more space on your device so it runs smoother. Okay, So what it does is it does a lot of different things. So one thing you can see right here is it looks for duplicated files. Well, you probably don't need duplicated files, so we can probably clean some of those up and retrieve some of your storage space. So we're going to go in here and we're just going to go ahead and... Um, if you don't want these, you can just click on them and it'll delete them. Now this is actually Hangouts incoming and Hangouts messages sounds. Um, so you could go like that and then you could hit delete on the bottom if you don't want them. You can always go back as well. The other thing it does is it looks for these unused applications. And so same thing, you can come in here and it's like, well, these applications you don't really use that much. Maybe you should get rid of them and it gives you the opportunity to do that. So I haven't used Allo in a long time. I'm just going to show you. So you can hit that and click uninstall. And it'll go ahead and uninstall the application. It says, yeah, you saved 66 megabytes of space. Yada, yada, yada. So again, same thing here for cache. We can come in here. And cache is really important, especially on devices that are under like 8 gigs of storage. You will fill up a gig of cache very easily on your phone. So one of the things that I'll get rid of for sure here is probably Twitter cache and then um, YouTube cache. And go ahead and delete that. And you're going to see that we just picked up half a gig just by removing cache for those two applications. You can look at downloaded files and then you can look at large files. So this thing just finds large files. So here's one, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. I don't need this PDF anymore. Go ahead and delete it. Picked up 12 megabytes. So the idea behind this is just a way to simply and easily, um, Google's gonna basically be scanning your phone for these different categories and present them to you to check it out. So you saved more than 100 megabytes, nicely done, say okay. Now, besides that, it's also a file browser, so you can come in here and you can do some cool things with this. You can see you know, your downloads, um, your applications, and images, my son with his crazy teeth, videos, documents, and I think you guys get the idea, audio files. But one of the other cool things that they added in here that's really kind of neat is this send and receive feature. So if somebody else has files go, you can click on this and it's just gonna put out this, this signal for Bluetooth and anything in the area will go ahead and connect up to this phone and you can instantly send files locally um, very simply to the other phone that has it. And there'll be some permissions to grant and allow, of course. Um, or if you wanna receive, you can go here and it'll wait for something to be sent. So it's a very simple and easy way to do file transfer without internet. You can see right there, transfer securely without internet. So this transfer is encrypted and uh, it's pretty neat. So that's basically what you have here. Files Go is an, a great application for those devices with sh not quite a ton of storage. Um, like I said, things with probably 8, 16 gigs of storage, you're probably really going to utilize this application. This was released today along with um, Android Go, which is Android Oreo, which is very much tweaked and made to run on those, again, devices with lower storage capacities. So it's pretty cool. But there you go, guys. That is the application. If this is something that would interest you, maybe you're tired of using something like CCLean or some of these other cleaners that are on the market, now Google has their very own. So go ahead and check it out. That's going to wrap it up for me, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.